Tuesday morning, of course, we are talking about Cancer Charity for Life and a big event that is coming up on Sunday. Christy Rogers is here with us. She started Cancer Charity for Life. And of course, we have Jaren Sorters, who also is a part of this organization because you were diagnosed with sarcoma in 2015. And Christy, you were diagnosed in 2014. Can you tell me a little bit about your story and also the event that's coming up on this weekend? Sure. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I was in the health and wellness industry and I've um, uh, been a wellness coach and uh, a triathlete and an Ironman finisher and I quickly became a r rare statistic um, by finding just a small lump mm -hmm. uh, on my leg and so um, sarcoma is about less than one percent of all cancers diagnosed today and the, the awareness and, and getting that out there um, to help our younger and future generations. Um, the event that we're having and partnering with uh, the Naturals is to make as much noise as Jaren and I can uh, during Sunday's event to um, let everybody know that the lack of funding and un it's just misdiagnosed and, and um, misunderstood. Yeah. So just the awareness of the the, the actual mm -hmm. what it is what sarcoma, sarcoma is. is yeah Jaren tell me a little about your story because you I mean when you look at Christy and look at you you guys um, obviously have similar stories but you're so much younger so it can happen to anybody it can not happen to anyone and that's why we want to get awareness out because you never know if it could be you next mm -hmm. and it's great to have people like Christy who help out so much and support and raise money and fight and just mm -hmm. to know you're not fighting alone. Yeah, I bet that community support has been huge for you and your family. I was looking on your Facebook page this morning. Thousands of people are praying yes, for you and are wishing you the very best. Um, tell me how you actually found out about that you had sarcoma. Well, it started, there was just pain in my foot and being an athlete, just tried to fight through it, eyes, rest, and everything, and just kept on getting worse and worse. And finally, I had a second MRI, and it showed that there was a cancerous tumor mm -hmm. in my left foot. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you've gone through the treatments, you've done everything, you've been a fighter this whole time, you've been battling this thing, beating it up like crazy, and we are all supporting you big time. So you are gonna be throwing the first ceremonial pitch? Yes, ma'am, this Sunday. Okay, so you want people out there at what time, 1.30? 1.30. Okay, and part of the proceeds are gonna be going to, or how, is the, how are the Naturals helping out in this, just helping with the raise awareness? Right, what they do is uh, uh, ticket sales, um, the face value of the ticket's $8, uh -huh. but our charity will get $4, which will go to research. Perfect, that's what, mm -hmm. I, that's what I would write. Okay, perfect. And yes. As much research as we can get is what we can do, and if we can help out in any way, I know the Northwest Arkansas community will do that because, like you were talking about, Christy, this is such a rare form and such a form of cancer that is not talked about, and so when you see people who are affected by it every day, like the two of you are, we want to do all we can to help. So go out there on Sunday, of course, the Walmart, I mean, at the Northwest Arkansas a Naturals game, of course, in Springdale, and we hope to see folks out there as they do raise money and awareness for sarcoma research. We can find a cure, right? All yes. right. Thank you guys so much for coming on Thank and waking you. up early this morning on a nice summer day. Well, I say nice.